Hey everyone, it's Friday on the Pagan Perspective, and this week we're talking about our aha, our coming home moment, in which we realized that our beliefs had a word for them, being paganism or Wicca or whatever you want to call it. I remember growing up when I was really, really young, probably I like middle school or whatever, I remember trying to start kind of like a small Wiccan common group, maybe, I guess you would call it. It was before I really understood what it all, what witchcraft and everything was. Um, I don't know what sparked it, but I remember a friend of mine and I getting together and we started, we opened up this notebook and we started writing down things that were definitely very Wiccan in idea and whatnot. Um, and her mother actually found that notebook and got really pissed off and, uh, you know, called it, you know, a bad thing and that it was like Satan worship and, uh, talked about, you know, getting pregnant and stuff like that and just really weird stuff. I don't know where she got it from, but, um, that was, I think my first kind of run in. And that's the thing is when I was little, I did not watch, you know, um, it was before Harry Potter. I didn't watch Charmed. Um, I didn't, I never knew about the, the movie The Craft or anything like that. So I wasn't exposed to any of that kind of stuff, um, outside of like Merlin from, uh, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. So, but I'd always been drawn to the, um, the New Age section of the bookstores and everything like that. And I'd walk in there sometimes and kind of look around and everything. Um, when I was a Christian and whatnot and just kind of it always just called me for whatever reason I really liked to be in that section of the bookstore so it was this pat or you know it was a little less than a year ago that I found this book and it is um, if you want to be a witch which uh, a practical introduction to the craft by Eden McCoy and as you can see, the picture on the front really stood out to me. Just a beautiful woman, she got like sparkles in her hair and everything. And, um, but I saw the, the title of the book from The Binding and I pulled it down and I looked at the question, or I thought, I looked at it as a question like, do you want to be a witch? And I just kind of looked at it and I thought, yeah, I kind of do. And so I pulled it down and I bought it and I, and I read it pretty quickly. And um, I think it's a great, great first book. I've never read To Ride a Silver Broomstick, which I know is really popular. And, you know, a lot of people read that and right away decide that that's what they want to do. Um, I have not read that book. And I don't necessarily have plans to read it. But maybe someday. Um, but I love this book. And I'm planning on giving it to somebody pretty soon. Um, but that was... I don't know if you want to call that an like aha moment or whatever. I definitely felt like it was a very much a um, coming home and it just kind of, it was one of those moments where it just clicked and it felt right. And when I started doing more research and doing more reading, it followed along the path of what I, this freaking piece of, there, sorry. Um, this idea of of nature worship, which it just seemed very natural to me, especially when I thought about um, things I did when I was young, like talking to the trees and um, feeling very connected to uh, nature and life around me and everything. And um, you know, my I've, I've always been told by different people that I'm an old soul, and uh, and whatnot and just kind of all made sense in that moment when I finished reading this book and um, so I guess you can kind of consider that my aha kind of moment I don't know I it's it's hard for me to say I had a specific moment of realization when there are all these little tidbits in my life that slowly built this big picture and it was just this book just helped put in the last puzzle piece, really. Um, so really, I'm sorry it's a short video, but I, again, I mean, it's I can't 
pinpoint a specific time where I felt like I, I real it was a realization. It was just an all around coming full circle kind of thing. So um, be sure to follow us in other news. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. Look up for us on Pagan POV. Follow us on Facebook. We have the question of the day up there. We put up recent news. Um, there's uh, links on there to different shops to get uh, tools from and everything that are really great prices. Um, I, I try to keep it updated with really great information for you guys. So um, other than that, I hope you all have a great weekend and bright and happy blessings.